Och stan my leaf this day. I woke up with excitement in my heart. I'm 14 years old and today, today is game day. The date is 15 March 2003. I get ready as I have so many Saturdays before. Nothing out of the ordinary really. On the way to school, something strange happened. I get this feeling that I shouldn't play. I told my mom something doesn't feel right. But no player drops his team because of something stupid like feelings. It's colder than usual as we stand next to the freshly cut field. Winter must be on its way. We take the field and the exhilaration takes over. A couple of minutes in, I broke through the defensive line and got tackled by the fullback, 15 meters from the try line. And then, it happened. In the rock, I hear three distinct snapping sounds, and I knew something went terribly wrong. Then it hit me. I'm paralyzed. No more playing rugby, no more chasing girls, no more walking on the beach, well, no more walking, period. I was pissed. The pastor saying to me, it's going to be okay, God let things happen for a reason, but no words could make my anger towards God subside. To truly understand the gravity of my situation, I need to take you back to the first time disaster struck my family. Ironically, the 9-11 terror attacks in the US is the same day my life was changed drastically for the first time. My dad and eldest sister got into a fatal car accident. My dad was killed instantly and my sister was left quadriplegic. I was 10. Two years later, a black widow firecracker exploded in my hand and dismembered three fingers Another two years passed and as you now know, I became a quadriplegic, the second in our family. So yeah, by the time I was 14, it was hard to believe that God existed. It felt like the plagues of Egypt made their way to the Swartz family in Middleburg. I reached a point where I had to negotiate with myself. Should I go on or should I commit suicide? was what kind of life was left for me anyway. Being paralyzed isn't just about losing your ability to walk. It comes with a package. No bowel or bladder control. Muscle spasms. Internal infections. Constantly preventing pressure sores. And most of all, no more privacy and minimal independence. You don't wake up one day and everything is alright. It's a process, long and agonizing. You have to find purpose again, find a place where you are wanted and valued. To have meaning is the single best way I know how to stay motivated, no matter your circumstances. You never completely get over it, but by constantly setting even the smallest of goals, and chasing after them, it gets better. I have physical limitations, but there's always a way to overcome limitations. It might feel impossible, but by adjusting your limitations, you can achieve the unthinkable. Someone else's story and advice can be an inspiration, but the real deal comes from within. People often ask me, how did I make peace with God? I came to a place where I had no other choice. It's not about giving up, it's about giving in. I just couldn't do it by myself anymore. There's a verse in the Bible that I hold on to. 
John 16 verse 33 I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations and distress and suffering. But be courageous, I have overcome the world. Life might paralyze your dreams, but then it's just time to start dreaming again.